What's up everyone? Welcome to Evil PC Gaming and welcome back for another Mother Truckin' Monday. As I said in the uh, last episode, I'm gonna go ahead and bite the bullet, go in debt another $400,000. Why? Because it's the American way and this is the American Truck Simulator. Already went ahead and took out the loan. I might upgrade that truck to give it to another worker, but I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do just yet. Uh, let's see. We need to expand the garage. Alright, 180,000, so, yep, I'm gonna do that. Come on. Alright. And then... We're gonna hire a driver. Well, he looks like a, uh, somebody with a little bit of a rap sheet, so does he. And, well, what? That's all I have is these two? Alright, so this guy's looking for $173 plus $820 a mile, $828 a mile. Huh. He's got Echo and some Distance. He's got Fragile and Distance and Flammables. I think I'm going to go with this guy. He can do a little bit more of a variety. Put him there. Can't put him in that truck yet. Whoop, sorry about that. Alright, let's get over to... Where, whoa, whoa, where am I going? Let's get over to the... Uh, I'm gonna head on down to the Kenworth dealer. They've been doing a lot of work on the modded trucks. And have a lot of them fixed up. And what I think we're gonna grab this go around is the Freightliner Classic XL. Nice looking truck. Though there is no cabin or chassis uh, options on it. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna base this one on a heavy hauler. I'm gonna go for the long haul. Put a little bit of thought in this. I think I'm going to go with the Cat C15 600 horsepower. I'm not quite sure it's going to open up on level 8. And I'm definitely going to go with the 18 speed with the Retarder. Lately, I've been liking the. Uh, I'm doing like a candy apple red kind of look. If I can get it. If I can get it toned up here. That's. Uh, maybe. Maybe get this base just a little, little darker. It's, uh, yeah, not bad, not bad. Alright, so of course I want to put the eagle on there. What else do we have? Hood deflector, do I want that? Mm, yeah, it's not bad looking. We can either do grill add-ons or we can put the bull bar on. I think we're going to go with the bull bar. I'm going to go with some of these uh, modded beacons. Interior light, I think I can turn that on and off with the, uh, with the O key. I'm not exactly sure. But we'll, we'll find out in a, in a little bit. Definitely got to get that custom visor rocking. I like that. The interior. I'm gonna stay with brown. Over here, I definitely want the chrome wings. Come on. Gotta have chrome tanks. Yeah, let's see, where are they? Freightliner directionals. It's not a bad looking wheel. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that. I guess these are the wheels that are supposed to come with the XL. You know what? They they do look decent. So I think, uh, yeah, I think, well, I'll just keep them. Let's see, custom fenders, classic fenders, aluminum. Definitely going to go with custom. If I'm going to go in debt, I'm going to go out big. 
All right, so that's the interior light. I hope that interior light doesn't turn on with my beacon light, since it's listed as beacon. Well, anyway, got that bill up to $134,000. I'm going to go ahead and purchase this. Yes, I want to drive the new truck. And we're going to give it to the new guy. Sorry, new guy. That is a turd of a truck. I will get it upgraded, though. Let's, uh, let's take a look at this thing. The red's a little brighter out here than I would have liked it to have been. But at least the chrome looks better. Let's get rid of that GPS there. Yeah, not a... Uh, bad looking at all. Anyway, let's fire this bad boy up. Sounding good. Alright. Let's, uh, let's see here. I don't have the uh, small navigator bar anymore. I haven't looked for the new one ever since the update. It crashed it. Let's see if I can find a nice short job. I don't want to drag the videos out too, too long. Let's just do a nice uh, short one. That's not very short, is it? Well, that one's not too bad. Though we've already done that tanker before with the ethane. You know, we're just gonna we're just gonna stick to this one here. Nice, nice little short drive. And then next video, we'll uh, we'll ramp it up a little bit here. Change my force feedback settings all around, and I'm trying out that uh, the tweaked force feedback setting. Uh, the the plugin is supposed to make it feel a little bit more real. So I'm not quite sure if I if I like it yet. I haven't spent too much time with it. Move over and get some uh, get some of my switches and stuff out. Almost crashed because of that. Tell Holland with this thing uphill is going to be much nicer than that uh, yellow peat that we had.
problem with the visor sticking out there so far. Can't see the red light, only the one out on the pole. feedback in the wheel so far. I, I did the, the suggested settings, but kind of feeling vibrations in the road and I'm going so slow. I'm going to have to tweak that. So if you can hear it in the mic, I'll, I'll try to fix it by next time. this cargo picked up. Where's that one going? Oh yeah, it's a little far. We'll get into longer jobs since now uh, you know, we don't have to worry about purchasing trucks and everything. We'll get into the longer trips. the interior light. Ah, uh, that sucks. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to get rid of that interior light. I don't want it coming on every time uh, you know I want to turn the beacons on. attention to my uh, my sleep there I have to stop somewhere and take a little nap maybe I don't know maybe we can push through it and get this job done to a lower gear, but too late now. Yeah, definitely gonna have to, definitely gonna have to tweak the, uh, the feedback around a little bit more.
truck pulls very nicely with a 600 horsepower engine. Kind of hoping I don't have a difficult place to park with this uh, force feedback. The wheel is it's tight. It's definitely hard to turn. I understand it should be a little hard to turn, but it's, uh, it's kind of a bitch to be turning back and forth on a, uh, on a difficult park job. There's an alarm pretty much saying I'm going to fall asleep, but I think I can get this job done. Being about an hour out, shouldn't take too long. Because I'm sure if I go to sleep, I will, uh, I'll be late for the job. seat up. Straight in. I don't know what kind of uh, park we're going to have here. Okay. Trailer's not moving.
And that's going to do it for this episode of Mother Truck and Monday. Like I said, uh, last couple weeks, I will try to get them out during the week to keep these, uh, keep the career progressed, but no promises on that. Anyway, if you guys have any suggestions, please put them down in the comments below. And uh, anything else you want to put out there, go ahead. Can't hurt my feelings. Thanks for watching, guys. All right, guys, that's my time. And remember, if you did like the video, click the like button and share it with your friends. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing for more videos to come. And if you have time for another video, check out the one right here. As always, guys, thanks for watching. And until next time.